Hi everybody and welcome to another Gran Turismo Sport update here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here. Now today we're looking at update 1.32 and this comes with 8 new vehicles and a new circuit. So as you can see on the screen those are the 8 vehicles that have been added today. And uh, the new circuit is the special, special stage Route X. And uh, that's uh, an awesome circuit. I've raced on that once before, I think, if I can remember rightly. And it was a really, really good circuit to race around, especially for the faster cars. So that would be good. Um, I thought um, I might test some of these vehicles out uh, in this early live stream. And tonight I'll be hosting um, a multiplayer lobby for you guys to join if you want with channel Neo Gaming. And we're just going to do some random racing, maybe testing out some of the cars on the new circuit. Just having a laugh. I haven't been on this game for a while, so um, I thought, why not get back on it today? So that's what we're going to do. Just going to check out any other things that have been added. Um, more cam campaign mode um, tours have been added. Another location for scapes, Cambridge. Um, what else? A few issues addressed on the physics simulation model. And a few cars have been updated. Um, they fixed the issue where in the vibration feature of the wireless du dual shock controller would not work um, when used to drive while a steering wheel controller was also connected. So that uh, has happened to me, um, but uh, today I, I haven't got my controller connected anyway, so I'm not even going to be able to check that. But anyway, ask into looking at the cars. Right into a brand central. Make sure it's the chat. Afternoon, Armageddon Racing. Welcome to the stream. Right, so let's jump in here and have a look at the cars. I'm not going to be able to afford some of the classics, I can guarantee that. So, have a look at this. This one first. Another Shelby. Let's see how much this one is. Well, there you go. <laughs> 400,000 credits, the Shelby GT 350, and that is not a bad looking car from 1965. That's a nice looking classic, I think. And the stats on it aren't too bad either. Right, so that's the first car. Gonna have to save up for that one. Jump into the next location. We move to Europe. Hopefully we we can afford one of them. Yeah, that's the car. Um, the uh, Honda Integra Type R is definitely a car that I would like to try out. Actually, I might try that out. Hopefully, it's uh, priced okay. Probably it's going to be cheap. This is another classic. Aston Martin Vantage. Uh, it's an Aston Martin DB3S. 1953. And look how much that is. Wow. That is going to take a lot of playing to get that sort of... The only, the only way I think I'm ever going to get these some of these cars that they've got in the game is if you get a daily reward. Um, and obviously one with your mileage. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to afford that one. That one rules out that one test today. But if you have the credits and you test out any of these new cars, let me know what they're like. I would really like to know. Right, so let's have a look at the TVR. Hopefully this is not, no, that's decently priced. And uh, that's pretty decent stats, actually. Corner end's a bit low, but that's maybe one we're test out today. Definitely can afford that one. Move on. And I think this was a Z8. If I remember rightly. Convertible. Yeah, the Z8 from 2001. Uh, that's quite pricey, actually, for what it is. Mm. Can't see uh, me using a car like that that much. Uh, I'll avoid that one, especially at that price. Right, so there's another classic Porsche, I think, that's been added. It's going to be in the millions again, I expect. Oh, not too bad, just over a million. Another nice classic. Again, that's a lot of credits to spend on something you're not really going to drive that often. 
No. Going through the cars. Next up is a Ferrari. Hopefully this isn't going to be too bad price-wise. Oh, there is. It's oh, it's not too bad. That's within grasp. 500,000. And then 200. Again, another classic. They seem to add a lot of classic cars to the game, I've noticed. Yeah, very expensive. No, it doesn't. Right, let's have a look at the next car. Probably move on to Japan. These are the, This is where I'm probably going to get a little bit excited. The Nissan Fair Lady, I think it was. That's got to be worth a go. Reasonably priced, 2007. That's like, not too bad. Definitely try that one out. But the one I was really looking forward to was the, the Honda. So, looks like we're going to be testing out. That's another N200. Look at that. That is reasonably priced. So, we're going to definitely... I'm going to go with that in red. Like that. And that'll be the first car we're testing out. See if we can test it out in one of the campaign events. Let's have a quick look at the circuit first that they've added. Go in single race just so we can select the circuit. And there we go. Special stage route X. Oh, they've got, they've added, they've got quite different uh, times a day you can do. What I like about this game, it does give you a lot of options in that, that sense. Um, let's go in. She would try it in um try the car out in a campaign first. See if there's any uh, events that we can use it in. That's another new one, stars and stripes. American cars. The Red Bull X Insurance. No. Suppose we could use the uh Fair lady. But now nah, we're just we we'll test out the circuit. Or there'll be one for the Honda. Single race. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get what you mean, Armageddon. Right. Let's go for daytime. Manual gears. Professional. Let's see what this this is like. Oh, it's hard. And 
fraction off. Yeah, we'll try it with the sports car cars first. to really max out some of those faster cars. Yeah, this car's probably not ideal for this. 152 miles an hour. Come on, this slipstream. Taking those corners, uh, if you some of the really fast cars when you get up to over 200 miles an hour. You have to take them really, really, you have to be in the right position. Oh, this is on the head of a straight. I've lost ground on them too because I didn't have to slip through. They take the corners though when we come up to them. Over two minutes and still going. <laughs> Is he going to try? Oh, how dare you! How dare you! Let's try and slip through him to pick up some more speed. end up getting bored on something like this. Oh, this is brain numbing, this is. Especially in a car like this. the daily races there, this will be on there, for sure. Definitely good for testing out your top end though. Boring. 
mean, you don't even. What happens to the steering wheel? Look at it. <laughs> side to side, side to side. You could actually have a, you could have a power nap, couldn't you? Up to six minutes. My six minutes for a car like this to do one lap. Well, you, you probably get some decent money though, and credits doing this. See there'll be some endurance races on this one. Yeah, I'll, do you know what? I'll do one lap in a faster car just to see. But this is just not not built for this. We're coming up to finish line. they put in to make this circuit. Look at the detail. <laughs> you still awake everybody? <laughs> really? And it's over. 7 minutes and 38. Oh my dear Lord. Thank you for the subscription, Daniel Harkins. I really appreciate that. Right. No more. Definitely not using that car on there again. Seriously. That was painful. Right. We try one lap in a faster car. <laughs> yeah, you could. You're right, Stitch. You could do the almost the Nurburgring. That's how brain numbing that was. Right. Let's just pick a much faster vehicle. Stick with the one lap as well. Right. Uh... Uh, right. No, I think the red ball would max out. Let's go with. Actually, we've got a Formula vehicle out there, haven't we? So, let's go with that. Should be a lot more interesting, hopefully. Yeah, don't forget to uh, join me this evening if you want to race in an online lobby. Thank you, Chris Bedford, for the subscription. I really appreciate that. Right. Have a look at the fence. That's just uh, super soft shit. 
if this is a little bit more interesting. to the gear ratio this is going to go much faster isn't it so let's put it to 261 i think that'll be about right try that
we go. Just under, yeah, just under five, five minutes. Right. Should have enough. Get a our daily workout. Yes. Are we going to get one of the cars that's just been added? Probably not. Not bad though. I think I forgot about three of them though. Right. I am going to buy the Nissan and race it around a proper circuit. Yeah, it, it did. I did like, but mind you, I did race it round that circuit. I might try it round Brands Hatch or something like that and see what it's like. We do that. Actually, we do that first, and then we come back and try out the uh, Nissan. Uh, do another race. Might uh, just jump online see if we can get some people in a lobby or something. But if you want to join me tonight, um, in a live live stream. And do an open lobby from about eight o'clock. You want to join me? Push it a bit better. Yeah, okay. Wait there a minute, guys.
be a fun bar to race, I think. This category.
try one thing right there. It looks like it's actually coming, the crackling's coming through on the game. I've just um, checked the uh, headset. It, it's not coming through. It's actually coming through the game because it's actually the crackling I can hear in my headset as well, which is odd. Right. Is that Alin? Alin from uh, the Netherlands? Welcome to the stream. If it's really unbearable, guys, then I'll, I'll have to just shut everything down and then reboot it. Um, double check. Yeah, I've got no idea why it's crackling. Right, so let's try out that Nissan. Try a different circuit as well. Hopefully that sounds a bit better. Hello? Sound gone completely. Right, hopefully, fingers crossed. Can you hear me now? Hello? working yeah okay no crackling so far double check can you hear me all right now guys that good? Not getting much. Sound level from here. Oh, adjusted. Much better. Okay. Right, let's try.
loud and clear. Cool. Brilliant. It, I think it actually was coming through on the game. Because I've got a little tester down here on my computer. Test out the levels of my microphone and my headset. And there was no crackling. But as soon as I turn the game sounds on, I could hear it in my headset. It was So I've reset the game. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's okay. The only problem when you, when you live stream, you put all the stuff together. And, you know, I've had quite... You know, I've only started um, live streaming. I've just changed my um, Algato. I've got the HD60S now, which you get the um, preview screen as well. It's The settings are slightly different. And, um, obviously, I've gone over using Streamlabs rather than just normal OBS. So... I've changed loads of settings, so it's taken me a while to iron out all those problems. But fingers crossed I'll get there in the end. Right. Let's try this one out. We'll try it out on the standard settings first. Let me know what uh, camera views you prefer. I don't mind racing in. Hot pit. I like the Nissan. Hopefully be a good one. Let's see if we can buy another one of the DLC vehicles. Well, DLC free cars. The update, I say, after this. They don't feel too bad on the uh, standard tyres. I think I need to turn the traction off. Realise that was on. Oh, God. I'll start that again. Turn all the. Uh, and all the attraction. Off. I hate that. Off. That's switched off. I don't. I mean, if you're going to buy a Nissan, realistically. It would have to be. Oh god! And stop. It would definitely have to be the GTR, personally. But now this is going to be a little bit more realistic. Now we've turned all this assist off on the standard tyres. Just find when you've got the traction on three, you just it's too grippy. You want it to give now and again, get an experience out of it. Well, let's see what it's like under braking. Love this circuit. If you've uh, been watching um, my videos for a while, you would have seen some really good races around here on a set of Corsa and project cars too. Probably more on a set of Corsa, as it is one of the best circuits on the game, I think. This one. 
and I like Mugello as well, that's another good circuit. Ooh, see what I mean, that's what you want, you want to fill that rear, give way now and again. Wasn't getting that with all the action on. Past this GTO. Bit of a slide onto the onto the curb. They stop moving through the field. This is only a few bad. acceleration on it I must admit well, this category that is we've got one car that's well, a couple of cars that have pulled away from the rest close that gap well I love the sound of that Porsche <laughs> see you later latch onto these two. Make it a bit tight this time. A little bit of a boost at the back there. Got the rear just wanting to come round. in the weirdest spots in the corners. Seriously. Move out of the way. They're so dumb, aren't they, the AI on this game? I think I might head to the uh, online lobbies. See if we can get people to race the, um, the Honda. Final lap. Nice beam up. What I drive. I've got a BMW GT. Got the Gran Turismo 335D. Don't be put off the fact it's a diesel. This is when you've got over 330 brake horsepower and it's a four-wheel drive as well. It is rapid. I might actually do, um, I was going to do, um, using my GoPro, some car vlogs. I will do that. I've done a couple on my motorbike, but um, I will do one in my car. I've got all the attachments now. If you want to see that, let me know, guys. I only got the car last summer. Absolutely love it to pieces. See if we can get past this. Woohoo! Just managed to hold on to that one. Now we should be able to get him latch onto him here, we can squeeze past, but he's going to go on the inside. Got him. They're not the quickest around the corners, that's for sure. Right, um, 
see if we can buy another one of the uh, bars. Update. What else did we have? I'll be able to afford one of them. I think that was 400. Out of our price range, unless I sell, I might sell a vehicle. to afford Aston Martin. I think that's about 10 million minute no that ain't gonna happen no it isn't the strong point at all it's something they do need. I, can't, I don't know why they haven't addressed the issue because I'm not being funny um I do like racing against the AI on most games it's not this one Sure, we can get that one. Yeah, let's try that. Another one we can try. We will go for what colour? Uh, go for yellow. I do want to use this now. This is N400. And that's, you know, I've raced that class quite a lot, so I don't mind. I might be able to get that beam as well. Actually, no, I thought it was, I think it was about 500. Check the circuit for this. Let's go for... Go for Inca Lago. Try this one out. Like I said, guys, if you want to join tonight, um, I'm going to be racing with uh, channel Neo Gaming. He does uh, a lot of live streams as well. Um, he's ha he has got a racing group, Facebook group. Uh, he does races on um, Project Cars 2, GT Sport. Um, we did some races on a set of courses as well, although we were having a lot of trouble with the online lobbies. As you know, that game online lobbies isn't great, even after the update. But uh, still occasionally race on there. So if you want to join tonight, come along. Um, hopefully we can get a full lobby. We will be just doing testing out some of the new cars I don't think we're going to do many races on that circuit. I mean, that's going to get a little bit boring. I mean, just one lap, uh, even in uh, the, one of the fastest cars, still took nearly five minutes. So, right, try this car. Over key, not their cockpit. Whoa! Well, the brakes aren't as good on that as they were on the previous car, that's for sure. Okay, this car doesn't have a lot of grip. What were these tires on anyway? Try again. I think it's got quite a bit of power. Yeah, this one's going to be a lot. A lot harder to control and I've picked a circuit with some really tight corners well done <laughs> now this is going to test my skills
car, the brakes on this are just non-existent. Whoa! Sliding around like anything. Once more. I think this one might need a bit of traction control, but I think it's one of those cars you just have to be a little bit better feeding the power on push you around the corners. Certainly have to brake a hell of a lot earlier. All over the place. Right. Out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> Certainly can drift this car, that's for sure. to uh, race without the assist than the other two, that's for sure. Oh, quite decent feedback from the steering wheel though, I must admit. Hold that inside. That's almost a lap out of the way, that wasn't too bad. got decent acceleration. Whoa! That didn't work out, did it? I only just hacked him and it just goes into a complete and utter spin. I don't like the reflections, that really puts me off. It's not the cockpit. Got in there really wide. Take a little get used, I think. See, as soon as you. Just a matter of just feeding the power on a little bit uh, slower as you come out, out of the corners. Definitely got a very loose rear end on it. Good in a straight line, absolutely woeful around the corner.
Drop it down a third. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Try holding it in second. Down to first. Definitely doesn't like the curbs. I'd stay off the curbs if I was you guys. In this one. Especially with the uh, standard tyres. Slow it down. Off the curb if we can here, a tiny bit. Once you get it on the straight, it feels good. It's just the corners. As you start putting your foot down, it really does start to uh, go unstable. Too hard there, it's lost control. is a challenge, I must admit. Let me try this one guys, just turn all the assist off, stay on the standard tyres and see, go on this circuit, see if you can do the lap first time. I think the brakes is one of its biggest drawbacks, it's just it doesn't feel like you're stopping and when you just push it a little bit too hard then you just lose it loses control, especially at high speed. Try and use the gears to slow it down a bit more than the brakes I think. Probably my advice. Brake a little bit earlier. Just try and finish the final lap. A decent lap. I don't think we're gonna be able to win this one. No. I'm oh, going off circuit here. Break a little bit earlier. Most into the turn. Challenge to win this one, but I'll try. Ooh, overdone it on the. It's just when you think you can take it into the corner a bit faster, it lets go. close to him and into that final thing we might be able to hit at least one or two of them
Yeah, that car is definitely a challenge. Thank you for the subscription. Is that Hashlam Wilson? You know what, I'm going to give that one one more go. See if we can win it this time. I was getting used to it towards the end, I think. Definitely don't like the cockpit view, I mean. Yeah, just don't like the ones with massive reflection. Very off-putting. know where the limit is on this, I think it's okay. I don't think it's the most stable though, I think any contact from any other vehicle is going to send you into a spin. Controlled this time round. Definitely one of, one of my favourite circuits. This one. I think um, I've won quite a few races around here online in the daily races. It is a circuit they use quite a lot. I must admit. Say that, I'm gonna go round sideways around that one. <laughs> Famous last words, eh? But if you like drifting, this is definitely a car that's gonna drift quite easily.
want to make contact with that car. struggles in the slow corners. Whoops. Oh, that was my fault. Nope, I'm going to try once more and that's it. We'll get it round this circuit without crashing it. Just can't put the power down at all around the bend. I feel that I feel there's a lot of um, lack of grip. Ooh. This Ferrari did the same thing as I did. Went sideways. Take a lot more of these cars on the second lap if we want a chance of winning. Whoa, Eddie. Just hold it around this corner. Only just held that. Well, I'm going to try and take that in a higher gear. I'm trying to drop it down to seconds. That's when it starts to move all over the place. Right in a higher gear.
I think. First lap. Oh, almost pipped second. It was a faster lap, though. See if we can try one more car out. I'll try one more car out, and then, guys, I will see you on online about eight o'clock in the live stream, open lobby, testing out some of these cars, having a few races. See if we can buy another. How we bought them? Bought them. The uh, BMW. I think it was out of our price range. Double check. Oh, 166. Just afford that one. And red. Is there a new track? Yes, there is a new track. Um, it's a very boring track. I will quickly show you that. New circuit is. We took uh, the the uh, Honda Integra Type R around it at uh, one lap, and it took nearly eight minutes. So yeah, it's a very long circuit, probably more for endurance races. And the circuit is. Special Stage Route X. Right, let's try this BMW out. Try that. Trust me, the straights on it um, are so long on it. It just goes on forever, and you can take you can take the bends at full. 
speed as well. So, not much technical difficulty with it at all, to be honest. Right. Off. And I've actually done a track day round uh, the Indy circuit, uh, and that was in a Z4. And that was so much fun. Right. Oh, it's been in from behind. Nice. hit twice then. I'm going to go in right in this camera view. Type some of the camera views. Let's try that one. Yeah, some of the camera views are in the cars are not that great. Sideward for a while there. This one sounds a bit better, must admit. I think BMW sounds pretty good anyway. Acceleration. The brakes are better than the previous car. Noticing that already. Oh, this handles much better than the previous car. Careful. I mean, it is quite easy just to stick the uh, best tyres on it, and you feel like you've got loads of grip. But you want to experience the car, what it would be like if you just bought like a standard, standard road car, standard tyres. Pretty good. This car feels like you can push it a little bit harder. Pushing it on the limit there. Well, even that Citroen struggling. Right down the outside of him. with this beamer actually. 
good little fun car to race, I think. And it doesn't lack. Oh well, I think if you upgrade this to the maximum, I think this is going to be a good car race, I think. Definitely. Again, they just think they're going to go into the corner at speed and then they just suddenly break. A whole day inside, isn't he? in this now we've know what the car's like <laughs> no, I don't own a Z4 my uh, my dad used to have one and um, I used to do track days I used to work for a track day company in the summer and uh, he came up in his Z4 and I got, a, got him a free track day with a touring car instructor for uh, half an hour as well and he improved his lap times by about I think about four or five seconds so I used to get a lot of free track days I do, I do have a BMW but not a Z4 <laughs> right let's try once more now I know where the limits are on this car. I'll try and push a little bit harder from the beginning. See how quick we can get to the front. Had a kill into Bruid Spend. Take some vehicles. Let me fast. Move out of the way. I knew you were going to do that. Don't, 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 don't. That was a little bit. Almost lost it there. Overtake. It's the challenge. Right. I have to have a brilliant second lap. Oh dear. Oh, 
squeeze past. going to break early. Go to the inside. No! Nah, we're going to have to do better than this. where they're going to break, but it's just the positions they hold in the corners. It doesn't give you much room to overtake. It's like them just to select where they're going to go, whether they're going to go outside, inside. You might take him in the inside. You can go outside or inside. Cheers. I'll take that. Last time I just caught that curve and that's just led me some minutes. Take him here. If we can. Yes. they're going to break right mid corner so I might accelerate on the curve this time much better trust me guys you've got to buy this car this one really does handle well Go. 
looks like the Porsche is leading the race. to get past this right in front if we want a chance to take the win coming through oh bit of slide then got to push it oh the Porsche was struggling there if we can take advantage of that Struggling again. Come on, can we get in the inside? Side by side. Oh, it just adds a little bit extra. I, th oh, I think he's just going to pit me. Oh, how close was that? I think I've got time for one more attempt. I must admit, that car is good. It's stable. It's not, not slow. It's got quite a bit of power. Right, one more attempt. Can't let that Porsche get away with this, uh, this win. Need a better first lap, that's where I, I know I'm losing it. We're barely overtaking any cars on the first lap. I ain't gonna st Right. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes on this first lap. I wouldn't be surprised to see this one being used on daily races as well. God, what am I doing now? Just trying to push it too hard now. God's sake. I mean, you could stick the uh, racing softs on this car and it'd just be a totally different car. But you know in uh, daily races that you only race, obviously, on the uh, racing hards, isn't it, normally? You're getting used to it like this. Oh, my God. Really struggling with it now for some reason. Be a mistake. Really need 
need to get past this Jaguar. just really struggling with it now. Right. Yeah, this is what the, the thing is, it's like when you're just racing, testing out the car, you're just trying to get used to the car, you're being careful, not pushing it too hard, but as soon as you want to push it, that's when you really got to learn how to control the car and know its limits. Maybe I'll just have to be a little bit more careful until I can sort of get past the bare areas, I think, when I overtake in the wrong places. Can I get in the inside? No contact, no contact. Yes, that was better. I like the fact the AI are pushing it as well. You've seen them going over the uh, curbs, losing control under braking. down the inside how I got away with that I don't know but I'll take it bit of a risk no no accelerated too soon out the turn there you go <laughs> right this is my final attempt because I've got to get off and I'll be back on at 8 o'clock. I hope you join me for that guys.
I, I think uh, out of the cars that I've tried today, I think this one is definitely my favourite. I actually prefer this over the Honda. I don't know what it is about, it just... It just feels really, really good. It does have limits, but that's a good thing, I think. Again. Oh dear, got away with that one. Well, if they wanted the uh, grass cut round Brown's Hatch, I'm doing it for them today. Oh, right great there. leading again. Right, we know they're going to break really early on this corner, so it's if we can hold this inside. Might be able to sneak through. Oh, I make contact. Yes, I think we'll be alright. We're through. Right, we're in a good position now. Doesn't look like the Porsche is leading. Right, we're going to the final lap. up by the Bentley. Need to get past. finish. No! Left it too late. I need to be quick on the first lap. That's where we're lacking. But still, 
it was a good race. How are you doing? I love your videos. You help me with anxiety and depression, and I thank you for that. Well, that's that's uh, something that a lot of us suffer. It's uh, not a nice thing to go through, um, especially myself. I battled it for years. I still struggle with anxiety now. Uh, a lot of mine came about. Um, I was I was involved in a. I don't want to go into it too much, but I was involved in a serious accident. Uh, suffered a really bad spinal injury and because there was a lot of things I couldn't do at the time and as you know from any injury it involves a lot of recovery and I hit rock bottom certain things were going wrong in my life and I just had to pick myself up and that's when I turned to YouTube that, that was one of the things that actually um, started me off because I had a bit more free time um, before I could actually get back to work and I know exactly how you feel and it's not an easy thing you just got to talk i find you've got to talk to people um don't bottle it up and yeah that's the only way that that's the best advice i can give is to try and uh keep your networks open really don't don't suffer yourself in silence because that's when it really grips hold of you and it's hard to dig your way out right so that is the end of the live stream. Thank you to everyone that's come to watch. I really enjoyed that. Not a bad update. I'm not so keen on the circuit. But I do enjoy, I have enjoyed the cars, especially that BMW Z8. And I hope to see you tonight for some online racing. Hopefully it'll be a good one. It will, it will be with um, channel Neo Gaming. So I hope to see you later then.